All right, all right, all right. Um, we are at the final stage of this tutorial, which is the composition part. All right, so we are using Photoshop to finish this one up. Um, these are the results we were able to pull out from Blender. This is the third layer. Um, this is the second layer. All right, and this is the first layer. So, um, this is the what I called it far in blender and this what i called it um um metal and this was close up so these are the three images we we're able to pull out from blender um this is the results we are getting now but you can see um the metal was cutting some parts of the close up so when i disable it you can see uh this one um, the close-up is having some grass over here and over here but when I enable it or unhide it it takes away those grass so the way I was able to fix it was to create a mask using this icon and I painted some black at the, at, at the place I wanted to see the grass this is the results I'm getting out so you can see the um, the grass are now back using the mask um that's why we are having now i later on noticed the image was looking like it was a different image from some scene and these two were looking something different and i noticed that the reason i was thinking that way was the 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 strength of the sunlight over here so you can see because of the color difference over here the the, the images are looking a, a bit different so i decided to color grade it to fit um at least the colors here um my 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 aim was to use uh, the color gradient here or the color here or the colors here to to get the colors i want here um so i did some color grading using here as the reference and because the reason i use this part was um this middle um layer you can see that here is the here is the place the shadows was taking effect and here is the place the sun was taking effect so when you come back to this layer you can see this actually a place the sun is taking effect so i have to i have to use where the sun is taking effect on this layer to guide me to get the correct color here um, I did some color grading and this the result I was getting so all right so this is the result I'm getting and you can see that we are um, very close to what is happening over here so at least this is close enough to uh, to feel like it's uh, they actually the same image or from the same scene after this I noticed the the ground was um, very dark to my liking so i duplicated this and i duplicated this i so i turned off the color correction i did on it and um this what so we are back to the original image so this is the original image you can see we are still getting the same image so i added another mask and painted the place i wanted to see the original image so this is the results we are getting now so you can see and um, now we are getting some bricks and some details on the ground and it's looking very interesting by just using the mask and duplicating the same layer we're able to get the, this effect on the on the road all right since we're as since we're getting this since we're as since we're getting this effect or since i was getting this effect i decided to do the same thing on the other parts of the road so i i i created three layers so one for this part one for this part and one for this part so for the first part this is what i had so i just clone what i was having over here so 
especially the darker parts and i painted it on top of this layer so this is what i'm getting here so you can see i use normal with the opacity of 68 so this is what i'm getting here and i did the same thing for this guy here and they say i use opacity of 51 and the same normal all right i did the final one on top of this um, road here and this is what i was getting so you can see uh, it's very it's settled but um it's adds a little detail to it by just manipulating the images or by just um, by just clone painting and masking some parts of you're able to get an interesting image so this is actually the first part of the composition uh, of the image so the next part is i'm trying to make it more presentable using um color correction and other interesting tools we we have in photoshop so this is the second part and this is the same results we had in the first part um i added some brightness to this image and this is the results i was getting so this is the brightness i added and i did some clone painting to heal uh the repetition over here so here's a repetition here is a repetition and here is a repetition so i wanted to hide those types i use this clone um, brush to uh, get rid of those repetitions so this is the results i'm getting so together with brightness and contrast and um, i was able to get this result the next was to add a little glow on top of um the the bridge here so i wanted to add some glow at the place which was receiving the sunlight um, you can see it is very subtle but um, i did like it um, and i even added some of the flowers too this is the, what i'm getting here so a little glow that's what i'm getting so the next was um i the clouds was looking a bit um, flat for me so I went back to the reference image and I took some clouds from there. So this, this one, it looks like so. This is the original um, sky from Blender, and after adding the clouds from the reference, so at least um, it's not um, that flat. And we can see some gradient or some clouds um, in the sky here. So this. Um, the next thing we did and then i added some glow here to match it up with the scene here because you can see the scene is a little uh, bright and I, I wanted to make the sky a little bright too so i added the glow here using the lens flare by using the lens flare this is what um i'm getting here so you can see it's adding a little um, effect on the whole scene the interesting thing i did was to add a mist so this is a mist i was able to take out from blender so first let me show you what the mist is so this is how the mist is looking like i i disabled all the grass but i brought back all the trees and i rendered a mist out so after rendering it out i bled it using the blur in blender which is at the composition part um, the composition section i bled it so i noticed blurring it will give you um, a little um, smoke look type image so i i did that to get this kind of feel with, with the use of the blur, I was able to get this image. So I brought it back to Photoshop, and um, this is what I'm getting. It's very settled. I didn't want to go for a very strong um, uh, opacity here, so I just went for 25 here. So that was okay for me. And you can see I'm getting um, some um, interesting effects here, so that was okay for me. So the next was to add a little um effects here at the edges here so 
and this is what I'm getting from this layer tools. In all these were the tricks I used to finish up the image and, and hopefully we were able to <laughs> finish hopefully we were able to finish this tutorial. So so I hope you learned something. I hope there were some tricks you were able to pick it up. And I'm glad we were able to finish this tutorial. Alright.